still doing this? Two of these were fine, but now we're just milking it. Hello? Is there anybody here? If there is somebody here, please don't kill me. Oh, hey! Goofy, I mean, Boris, what's up? So, is this, like, your own place? Because, I'm gonna be honest here, this actually doesn't seem bad compared to everything else I've seen. This actually seems relaxing. Not much of a talker, huh? Can you at least tell me how I got here, or are you just gonna give me that blank stare? Goofy says what? Ah, damn, you're good. Alright, well, uh, thanks for the hospitality and everything, but I should really be heading out trying to figure out how to get out of here. So, uh, see ya! <laughs> hey, uh, Boris. Do you happen to know how to get out of here? Because I see a door, but I don't see a doorknob or a lever or anything. Boris? Boris? Are you deaf? Boris! Bro, I'm talking to Jesus! Oh, hey, you're awake! Yeah, did you not see me walking up to you like a minute ago? Sorry, I was sleeping with my eyes open and I just woke up. Anyway, nice to see you didn't die when I saw you pass down on the ground the moment you saw me. So that's how I ended up here. Yeah, it was kind of weird, too. You just called me Goofy and just plopped to the ground. That explains why everything went dark after that. I seem to be passing out a lot in this journey, and always at the most suspenseful moments, too. You should probably get that checked out. Well, I would go to a doctor if I knew how to get out of this place. I can't even get through the door over there. It's missing a lever. I got the lever to it. You do? Yeah. But I'm not giving it to you till you make me something to eat. Ah, uh, why? It's been 30 years since anyone set foot in this place, and you're the only living thing that showed up around here. I've been lonely for a long time. Fine. What do you want? Bacon soup. Of course you do. All done. Here you go. Much obliged. And now my adventure continues. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm gonna follow you around now and help you with stuff. But did you even eat your bacon soup? Nope. Well, then why did you have me make it if you weren't going to eat it? It's nice to have company, okay? Oh, hey, you got one of those confession boxes the churches have. Yeah, adding Alice to the cartoon brought attention to a lot of religious viewers. Joey ended up making a ton of these and sold them as part of our merchandise. Well, hopefully these will come in handy later. Anyway, moving on. That is one dark hallway. Aha! Clock convenience. What was that? What was what? You didn't hear those footsteps in the ceiling? Nope. Don't you lie to me. Of course you did. Anyone could hear stomping like that from a floor or two down. Must be rats in the vents or something. It would have to be a pretty big rat for it to make that loud of a noise. My friend Mickey is a pretty big rat. I thought you said you weren't goofy. I'm not. Then why do you have a mouse friend named Mickey? I don't know. Why don't you have one? Never mind. Let's keep moving. And a dead end. That's lovely. Don't worry. I got this. <laughs> nice. Oh, uh, hey, buddy. I think I need some help here. This vent won't open. Hello? You're still there, aren't you? Buddy? Whoa. Good lord. It's like an underground toy store. Look at the size of these plushies. You know, if these were sold in stores today, they might put Toys R Us back in business. Okay, I definitely heard that. Hey, Boris, did you hear? Oh, yeah, that's right. He's still stuck in the vent. I should probably go back and help him. Come on! Why are there so many dead ends? Ugh. There's gotta be a way around these things. Ooh, maybe that tape will help. Top of the boys, you lads! My name is Jack Septic. Uh, I, I mean, uh, Sean! Sean Flynn! Yeah, not that Jack Septic, or whatever that loser's name is. Anyways, this job sucks! Joey gets on my ass for the littlest things! Like, the other day, I accidentally put a crooked smile on one of the bendy doors, and he flips out as if it were the end of the world! 
It's not like these dolls are selling anyway. Parents won't let the kids have them because of religious reasons or something. Especially that stupid angel one. She caused the most controversy. And here I am, realizing my life was wasted, putting together something that no one was going to see. At this point, we may as well burn the things. It's not like I care. Screw them. Alright, that didn't help. I guess I'll just uh, screw around the machine and see if anything works. Ooh, a toy airplane. Man, I love these things. Ooh, a switch. Wonder what this does. Oh, I'm smart. Oh God, darkness. Whenever the lights go out, that always means something bad. You're right to assume. Who said that? Knock knock. Who's that? <laughs> Mother of God! Hello? Who are you? Hello? does it. I'm leaving. I'm out. I'm going home right now. I forgot there was no exit. Uh, which path? Oh, God. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, this one. Well, well, what do we have here? Yeah, on second thought, I think I could survive the demon path. God, please don't let this tape be filled with crying. Howdy there, Joey Drew here, and I just wanted to make this unnecessary recording to remind whoever's listening to follow your dreams and never give up on them. I haven't, and look where I am now. I'm making my own damn cartoons. Sure, most of the crew hates my guts for the stuff I do, but screw them, who cares? At least I had the guts to take my imagination to the next level. I just had to believe. Maybe if I believe hard enough, I could probably cheat death. I could, I could live for all eternity if I wanted to. I'll show you who's boss, God. I do admire Joey's optimism. Pretty high opinion of himself, though. Also, screw you, Joey. You got me into this mess. I mean, yeah, I did open up a letter that was addressed to someone else, but you're still partly to blame. Also, your name sounds stupid. Stop! All right, that tears it. Oh, God! Oh, Boris! Thank God, I thought I lost you back there. What'd you punch me in the face for? Well, I saw the cardboard cutout pop up again, and I thought it was doing it on its own, so I was gonna punch it. And look how that turned out. Well, you had it coming. You made Felix the Cat pop out at me, so really, that was your own fault. Whatever. Anyway, I found this pipe while crawling through the vents. Go use it to defend yourself in case anything pops up. This might actually be useful. Thanks, Boris. This kind of makes me regret punching you. Oh, no. But not really, since I don't like to be scared. Ow! And that was for even thinking of doing that in the first place. Alright, let's move on. Gosh! Looks like this is switch activated. Boris, you flip the switch here, and I'll go see if I can find the other. Got it! Ah, there's the switch. Located conveniently close to that poster of new characters I've never seen before. Why do I have a strange feeling something's gonna pop- Something popped out! Something popped out! Something popped out! Something popped out. Boris! Some monster thing popped out of the wall and it's after me! What do you want me to do? Attack it! I can't! I'm a pacifist! You're kidding me! <laughs> Sorry I let that thing attack you. Just forget it. If we say nothing now, I won't hold the grudge. Wait, why didn't I just use this thing to attack him? Oh, sweet! An elevator! Hopefully it'll take me out of this hellhole. Got ya! Can't believe you two just walked right into my trap. At this point, I'm really not surprised. You know, you're pretty different from the other guys I know. Uh, thanks? I mean, you're just so interesting. Boris, I don't like where this is going. How about you and I have a little date? We can meet at level 9 and have some fun. Oh, oh, um, well, you see, I, I, I would love to, but I have a girlfriend, and, you know... Go on a date with me, or your head is mine! I'm on my way! All right, Boris, whatever happens behind this door could lead to some pretty traumatic stuff. Let's prepare ourselves for what's on the other side. Don't worry, I got your back, man. I really hope you mean that. All right, you ready for this, boy? <laughs> Whatever happened to I got your bag? Uh, what on earth is this place? 
This is seriously dark, even for a cartoon. As freaky as this is, I can't look away. I never realized how good I looked. Huh? I mean, damn, just look at that body. Especially the chest. It's so hot. It's your mutilated corpse. And it's a damn sexy corpse. All right, Alice, bring it on. I'm not scared of you anymore. Come on, show me what you got. Never mind, I'm out. Crap. Welcome. You must be my date. Good lord, what happened to your face? Half of it looks normal, but the other half looks like it's practically melted. It's like you spent a day in hell and the devil splashed a bit of lava on you. Honestly, Sammy looked a lot better than you do. Insult me all you like, you're going to die either way. Just like my ex here, Jerry Seinfeld. What's the deal with death? More. It's for the best, really. The way he was groping me all the time and clinging on to me. He could have dragged me back into the ink. I don't want to go back. It's a living hell down there. I guess that explains my previous statement. It's like an endless void with nothing but voices. It's driving me insane. I will not let the demon touch me again. Well, at least we can agree on one thing. You and I want to stay as far away from Felix as possible. His name is Bendy. Tomato potato. You know what? You seem handy. Why don't you head outside and run a few errands for me? Ugh, do I have to? If you don't, I'll kill you. And I'm off! All right, what do I have to do? First order of business. Take this plunger and unclog a few ink drains on the walls. Uh... Do we have a problem? Oh, no, 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 it's nothing. It's, uh, I'll get right to it. Thanks for having my back, Boris. Glad I could help. Alrighty, let's get cracking. <laughs> Hang on. How the hell am I gonna use a plunger on this? Shouldn't you know? You're a plumber. First of all, Nintendo has already confirmed that I'm no longer a plumber. Secondly, there are valves on here that I can just turn with my own two hands. The plunger is really unnecessary. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Because all I heard was... What? Nothing, because by the time you spoke midway through the sentence, you would have ended up six feet under. Don't question me! Next on the list, take this syringe and use it to remove every ink blob's life source. Excuse me? Their life source. They all contain unneeded extra ink. It's disgusting. Then why do you want it? Because I need it to feel pretty. Can't you just use makeup? Have you seen what I look like? Makeup is not going to cut it for me. True, true, good point. Make sure the ink comes from the ink blobs that are old. Like, super old. They have to have the most ink inside of them. How do I know if they're super old? Trust me, you'll know when you see them. Now move out! Alright, where can I find some old ink? <laughs> oh, question answer. Alright, well, uh, just gonna stab you with this needle here. Here goes. Oh god, this feels weird. I know it's all ink, but I feel like I'm about to stab an old man. Hey there. It's okay, it's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. I just need to extract your life source for my benefit. So if you can just... Did he just die? This probably doesn't look good. Guess who's back? Oh god, I uh, gotta hide. Uh, Jesus, save me now. Hello? Hello? Hello, hello! Bless you. Oh, bless you. Thanks. Hold on a second, did I just hear this box sneeze? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Bye! How much more stuff do I need to do? Just a few more things, although each one is more difficult as they go. <sighs> Guess I'm gonna be here for a while. Let's call for a montage. Again? Well, you can't tell by the way I lose my walk. I'm a woman's man. Oh! Got no time to f These last few tasks seem tedious. Let's make this more fun. Take this axe and chop up any bendy cutout you see. Oh, yeah! Now we're talking! Die! 
die, 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 die. Hey, who's cutting up my self portrait? Oh, you're so dead. Come here, you little. Where did he go? He was literally just here a second ago. What the hell? And so you've reached your final task. Go to level 14 and collect five golden hearts. Not diamond, golden. I swear to Christ, give me a diamond heart and you'll end up like those faulty Boruses. Gold digger. You're probably going to need a weapon down there, so have this. This just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> JK. No! Come on, Alice! That was probably the coolest and most useful weapon I could have received. That's right. You'll get nothing and like it. Had to think. I was about to change my mind to consider you an angel. What in the name of all things holy is that? That's the projectionist. A freak accident in the studio led him to having his head caught in a projector. So he's just stuck like that? For all eternity. Oh my god. That is certainly not a life I'd want to live. You know what, matter of fact... Whoa! What did you do that for? That man had a projector as a head. You think he enjoys having that thing stuck to him while he walks around aimlessly with a bright light being the only thing he sees? He must have been suffocating in there. I mean, if anything, all I did was put him out of his misery. You're welcome! Take, 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 done. Ah, it seems you've reached the end of our to-do list. Finally! Now you can step into the elevator and I'll send you straight to the exit. Straight to the exit? Absolutely. What's the catch? No catch. Just walk in the elevator and you can go home. Eh, I don't know if I fully trust that. I mean, whenever someone you barely know tells you to walk into a certain area, it almost never ends well. Do you have any other option? No. Then step right up and the exit will await you. Alright. Oh, hey Boris, forgot you existed. Howdy, pal. So, how was standing around and cowering at Danger Ben? Emotionally exhausting. Well, Alice's tasks were physically exhausting. I thought you had my back. I did. In spirit. I hate you now. Of course! Did you really think I would let you go? Not really, but I was hoping for the better. No, I will not let you stop what needs to be done. Now bring me back my forest so I can be beautiful again. How's Boris gonna help? Especially with a face like yours. I need his insides. I need them to be inside of me. That sounded very suggestive. Give him to me. Or better yet, I'll take him. Once you're dead! I know there was 